look at the angle of incidence of light, or more specifically, how the angle of incidence of sunlight on the Earth's surface relates to the seasons. The definition of the angle of incidence is the angle between a ray incident on a surface and a line perpendicular to that surface at the point of incidence. We can understand this a little bit better as we look at a diagram. As you can see in this diagram, we have our surface and a line perpendicular to that surface. We also have a ray incidence or hitting that surface. The angle of incidence is the angle between the perpendicular line and that ray. Here we can see what a large angle of incidence looks like compared to a small angle of incidence. So what do angles of incidence have to do with the seasons? At different seasons of the year, sunlight hits the Earth's surface at different angles of incidence. This is caused both by the axis tilt of the Earth and the Earth's revolution or orbit around the Sun. Let's look at the angles of incidence that we have at summer and at winter to see the difference. Here we have an example of sunlight hitting the Earth's surface during summer. This gives us a small angle of incidence. The physical evidence of this is the sun being higher overhead during the summer. Here we have an example of sunlight hitting the Earth's surface during winter. We have a larger angle of incidence. The physical evidence of this is the sun being lower in the sky during the winter. We can see the differences in the angle of incidence of sunlight on the surface more clearly as we compare these two diagrams. As we can see, summer has a smaller angle of incidence and winter has a larger angle of incidence. Remember that the sun is not changing its physical position during winter or summer. It is the perspective that's created because of the axis tilt of the Earth. During the winter, when the northern hemisphere is leaning away from the sun, the sun appears lower in the sky. This is compared to the summer when the northern hemisphere is leaning towards the sun. This makes the sun appear higher overhead and gives us a smaller angle of incidence. These differences in the angle of incidence in different seasons also causes a change in the concentration of sunlight for each season. Throughout the entire year, the sun always gives off the same amount of sunlight and the earth always receives the same amount of energy. What changes is how this is distributed or spread out across the earth. In some seasons, the sunlight is more concentrated because of the angle of incidence, and in others, it's less concentrated, also because of the angle of incidence. If we look again at the diagram showing the angle of incidence during summer and winter, we can see that the sunlight is the same. In both situations, there are the same number of sunlight rays, and they are the same distance apart when they hit the Earth's surface. What changes is the angle at which they hit. This causes the variations in the concentration of sunlight. We can see in the diagram showing the angle of incidence at winter that the same amount of sunlight is spread over a larger area of the ground surface. This causes there to be less concentration of the sunlight at the Earth's surface during the season of winter. This is opposite in the summer. The same amount of sunlight is more concentrated on a smaller area of the Earth's surface. Again, this is caused by the angle of incidence of sunlight. This helps us to see that the differences between our seasons, especially summer and winter, is caused by the different angles of incidence of sunlight on the surface. Remember that this is caused by the axis tilt of the Earth and the Earth's orbit or revolution around the Sun.